Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Patty Jack, and today we're going to be taking a look at Avon Colony. This is a game that's going to enter public beta on September 7th, so if you want to try it out, that would be the time to do it. Basically, this is a game that I have been uh, following since I first saw the original trailer, and the developers were kind enough to offer me uh, early access towards the game in loom of this public beta going forward here. So the premise of Avon Colony is to, well, create a colony on one of many many different uh, alien worlds, each with their own environments, fauna, creatures, disasters, and a whole lot more. You're basically creating a city that is completely uh, encapsulated within itself so that uh, your denizens aren't exposed to all the harsh elements, gas, and uh, anything else that might want to try to, say, eat them that could be looming on the outside world. So how do you do this? Well, you do it in a general city building fashion. You have to craft and create a bunch of different buildings around your colony that will do things like offer you food, power, water, and a whole lot more. You'll then have to make sure that you have enough of all of those things so that your people don't just kind of, you know, die. And this is all funded through nanites, which are made by creating mines that will get things like iron or copper and then convert them over into the nanites so you can build more things. All in all, the game kind of reminds me of the Tropico series with a few different flavors of a game like Banished uh, thrown in there for good measure. If you've played Tropico or Tropico 5 for really any of those games, you'll feel right at home here. A lot of the stuff you're doing is uh, very reminiscent, things like making structures that uh, offer power, then connecting them via roads, although in this case it is more like uh, sealed tunnels that your people can walk in, because if they were exposed to the outside air they would probably explode or something. So you'll be setting up all these buildings and then uh, eventually you'll be setting up things like parks and apartment buildings, other entertainment districts like taverns and a whole lot more as well. And pretty soon, with some luck and some strategy, you will be creating the perfect colony, and everything will go super well and there won't be any problems. That is, until winter rolls around. Yes, you get the also dreaded winter is coming notification, and that tells you that you're going to have to make it sure that you stockpile your resources, and that you have enough power to get through the winter. And when said winter finally hits, you will be experiencing a whole plethora of different and new problems, things like uh, not growing food as fast or at all if your farms happen to be outside. You'll also be experiencing things like power shortages, so if you don't have enough power, then uh, you could be seeing some of your buildings not being active. And of course that can lead to things like water failures and uh, shortages of food and storage capabilities as well. So really when you're getting through the winter here, that's when it does kind of start to feel like more of a game like Banished uh, rather than Tropico. But all and all, so far I'm having a lot of fun with the game, and if any of that sounds like a lot of fun and you feel like um, stockpiling some resources, trying to manage a cool colony across the galaxy, then that sounds uh, like something you should be looking into. So like I said at the start, the game is going into public beta on September 7th. If you want to go check it out, I'm sure you can find a plethora of other videos, as there is no embargo on the game right now, which is always nice. So there you go, and that's a little bit about Avon Colony. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like. I would be super appreciative. I am Patty Jack, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.